Hello everybody and welcome to Hobbyist Fish Keeper. I am Will and today's video is going to be on this uh, Biome Home Ultra, uh, Bio Home Maxi or indeed any of the Bio Home products. Do they work? Should you buy them? Um, simple answer is yes, you should. They do work. You should buy them and I don't think any aquarium should be without Bio Home in some form in its filtration system. I'm a big advocate of it. Um, full disclosure, this is not a paid promotion. I'm not getting any of this for free. Um, it's not sponsored. Uh, Richard, the Pond Guru, uh, if you know my channel, you'll certainly know his channel. He's got a very big channel in the UK. And he is, for want of a better word, Yoda of filtration. Um, he, what he doesn't know about filtration it isn't worth knowing. Um, so I'm going to do uh, a little demonstration and again full disclosure this is completely stolen from his channel um, but I've decided to do this video because I've been on a couple of forums recently and there's been quite a lot of hate knocking around about the product and I think most of these people are ill-informed or going off what other people have said and they've not really tried and tested it themselves um, yeah so I want to show you a quick demonstration of the surface area of these products pitted against. We've got some um, Fluval uh, ceramic rings, we've got some Aquamanta Biodynamic um, and we have, uh, this is Fluval product as well, uh, what's it called? I think it might be called Biomax, um, but for, I think it's just pumice stone if I'm honest. Um, but we'll show you um, a demonstration of the surface area basically with, with suction of uh, some coloured water that I'm going to put onto this in front of me. And in the interest of not getting my fingers full of green dye, I'm going to be using some of these as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera down here so you can see it rather than at a distance. And you'll see just how well the Bio Home Ultra um, which I'm going to use here. I'm not going to use this piece of Maxi because um, although it's fantastic uh, it does cost a bit of money uh, and I want to put this in my um, Evo tank, my uh, Nano Reef tank. So bear with me for about one second and you'll be back down here then with a closer view. Okay so my plan failed miserably because I'm already covered in the green dye but here we go. So we're going to start off with the, um, I think it's called Biomax. Um, it's by Fluval. It normally comes with the filters. So I'm just going to dip it in and we'll see. So that is sucking up quite nicely. As you can see, will it focus? There we go. She's still got quite a lot of surface area still to go after a couple of seconds. We'll just dip it back in again. Oh, this is quite hard to film. Sorry about this. As you can see, there's still quite a lot of surface area there that doesn't take any of the moisture on board. Um, has it gone all the way around? Not the best in the world, but you can still see some of the green dye in there. So we'll pop that one. I'll pop into this clean water so it doesn't go everywhere. So that is the, um, the Biomax. And we'll go with the Aquamanta. This is Aquamanta Biodynamic, I think it's called. So we'll just dip this in. We'll see how fast this goes. Okay, so there you go. You can see it rising up quite nicely. I believe this is powdered glass, made out of powdered glass. There you go, that's done quite nicely. That is completely covered. Now I don't know if that's all the way through because I can't crack it open, but it does seem to be getting greener and greener. So there we go, that one's quite good. Aquamanta Biodynamic. I'll pop that one in the water as well. And then next we'll go to the ceramic rings. 
These are Fluval ceramic rings. So I believe these are just glass rings. We'll just pop that in there. So there we go, that's not that impressive. Okay, I've actually dropped this one in, whereas the other ones I only dipped in. So it does seem to be spreading up quite nicely, but quite slower than the other ones, which means it's not as porous. Still quite white there. We'll leave that one there. We'll see how long it takes for that one to go completely green. And then we'll have a look. I don't know whether how well this is going to actually show up on this one. I hope it shows up really well. <laughs> this is just going to be a completely pointless video. So here we go. So as you can see, wow, that shot up there. It got darker and darker all the way to the top within seconds. I hope that showed up on camera. Definitely saw it with my eyes. Um, maybe green was the wrong colour dye to go for. But I hope it did show up on the camera. I'm going to... Because I don't want this video to be pointless. Because I am a big advocate of this product. Let me see if I can zoom in. So as you can see, the Fluval ceramic ring still is quite white. And obviously ceramic rings are probably the most popular of... Um, most popular of the bio filtration. So I hope this shows it better. One, two, three. There, you can see it climbing there on camera. That just shows the surface area and the suction power of all those little crevices and nooks and crannies. It is made up of, I believe, sand and powdered glass compressed so there are millions and millions and millions of little tunnels in here for it to pass through now the the camera is really really it's showing it really bright but in real life this isn't that bright it's gone quite dark but hopefully you'll take that my word of it Oh, it's not showing up on camera. The debt is full of green. It's just not showing up really well. But I hope you saw, you saw the, the rise of the suction on the surface area of this. I'm not spoiling this piece because I want to put it in my tank. So, sorry, not doing that one. And as we can see, the um, ceramic ring is still white. So there we go. That's my little demonstration. And my personal view on any of the BioHome products is... Go and buy them. Um, I don't think any filtration should be without any kind of buy or home product. There's lots to choose from. There will be a link in the description down below. There'll also be a link into uh, Richard Pongaroo's channel. Not that he needs my help with subs. But there you go. Thanks very much for joining me. That was my little demonstration of the surface area on um, uh, quite a few bio filtration products and I'll, I'll see you all again soon cheers